This is Alden from the Moss and Crate .com. I've Got a beautiful Ishapur 1950 dated Lee infield here. This is a uh, number one Mark III. So you can see it's a wire wrapped infield. I've always, for whatever reason, I've just always found these rifles extremely attractive. Sorry, it's kind of shaky out here. Got some Greek HXP ammunition there that I'm going to shoot through today. This isn't really a, a review or anything like that. I just wanted a nice excuse to shoot the gun. See the crown there. You know, these Enfields were uh, featured in Star Wars. The uh, Jawas had them. They turned them in some sort of shotgun or something. They cut them down. And you know, Star Wars has all sorts of World War II guns, if you look at it. They've got the... Uh, and pre-World War II, even they have the, you know, the MG-34 is in there. They've got the STG-44. Uh, Han Solo's gun is, of course, the broom handle Mauser. Uh, and there's a couple others I'm forgetting offhand, but there's quite a few in there that they just remodeled surplus guns into guns for the movie. Anyhow, we're going to be uh, shooting at that target there in just a minute to see how accurate this is and just for the fun of it. All right, so we're just shooting for fun here. Um, it's about 75 yards away, not even that far. Can't even tell where it's hitting. It's hard to see. So that one hit low, right about on target. That's pretty good. So uh, it looks like there's a nice, at least two or three there that are. Sitting low and to the right on that target. So we'll shoot up high and to the left. There we go. Oh, I almost hit the bullseye. You can pan up and down the rifle if you want to see if you can get a good view of it. Like I said, not really going for super accuracy here. I just got this rifle and I was extremely, actually I wasn't going to take it out at all today, but it just, it was sitting over there in the corner. It just kept calling my name. I had to take it out, so. And, uh, of course, you know, these, these guns, because they're Indian, they're just crap. They're grenades waiting to go off. You should really check out Kurt Stevens' channel at Madras Arsenal, and he goes into how crappy Indian guns are, because, you know, they're, just, they're absolutely worthless. I'm really risking my life out here for you guys today, just firing this gun, because it's a ticking time bomb. Nah, I'm just joking with you. These are actually just as high of quality as the British-made ones. Um, I believe... Uh, the Ishapur Arsenal opened the late 1700s, maybe it was the late 1800s, but it's been around quite a while and they're still making firearms today. Trying to get the bullseye here. It, see, it seems the shoot's a little bit high, or a little, excuse me, a little low and to the right. I'll take my time with this next shot. It looks like they're clover leafing though, which is impressive. Yeah, clover leafing. And we're going to save the last two rounds for blowing up a zombie. So for 75 yards, that's not bad at all. Look at those. They're all, I mean, that's, <laughs> look at that. That's four rounds right there. That is deadly accurate. It's a lot more accurate than that Spanish Mauser I fired earlier today, but uh, I'm really impressed. I really, you know, infields are great rifles, so it does not surprise me at all. 
Um, I get them all the time on the moss and .com, So please visit the website, the moss and .com, and subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions are always appreciated. I give giveaways frequently. If I get something given to me for the channel, I uh, typically give it away to you guys, so just like the video and make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching.